Many think Singapore became a British colony in 1819. Actually, it became a colony only five years later in 1824. The 1819 treaty had merely given the East India Company the right to establish a trading post in Singapore. But the post was only a small strip of land, the distance of a cannon shot. The rest of the island still belonged to Sultan Hussein and the Mungong Abdurrahman. But as Singapore prospered, the British wanted to strengthen their grip on the island. So, in 1824, John Crawford, Singapore's second British resident, offered the Malay ruler a deal. A down payment and a pension for life in exchange for transferring the legal ownership of all of Singapore to the British. For the Malay chiefs, influence over their people was more important than control over territory. John Crawford's monetary offer allowed them to maintain their followers. So they signed the 1824 Treaty of Friendship and Alliance, relinquishing physical possession of Singapore and the surrounding islands to the British. Just then, the Treaty of London was carving Southeast Asia into zones of influence. Singapore and the peninsula to its north under British control, and the islands to the south of Singapore under Dutch control. These two treaties of 1824, the Treaty of London between the Dutch and the British, and the Treaty of Friendship and Alliance between the British and the Malay rulers, formally made Singapore a British colony.